Hello, Floss Tube. I'm Terry. And I'm Jamie. And we're, and we're the, the Cornhusker State, State Stitchers. Stitchers. Today is Saturday, February 6th. This is Floss Tube number 11. And this time we're a week late. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's a story. It's yeah, not well, a, a big story, but there's a story. Snow. Snow, snow. We are getting pounded with snow. Um, mm -hmm. Started two weeks ago. We got 13 inches. 14. Four, 14 yeah. inches. And then that night it snowed another two inches or three. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> so we spent the entire day. So that was a Monday. We spent the entire Monday scooping. Um, if you wait until 14 inches of snow is completely fallen before you scoop, you are screwed. So you go out there every couple of hours, scoop four inches, come back, scoop four inches, and then waited for the snow plows to come. And then when they come, you have a pile of two feet high at the end of your driveway. Yeah. And then I've mentioned before, I run the, the airport, the local, or... The Seward Airport. The Seward Airport, yeah. Um, so I have to move all the snow. And our equipment, we just do not have equipment big enough to, to move this kind of snow. So it took us three days to move snow. Then the wind came up again and blew it all back over the runway. So we had to move snow again. Yeah, so technically it was a blizzard. Yeah. <clears throat> it was yeah. more of a blizzard um, a little bit farther west of us. But it, we had significant winds. So it, it counted as a blizzard. Yeah. I actually had to, so I worked from home that day, but there was a document I needed. So I had to run into work to grab that document so I could um, finish work at home. And a couple of my employees were there, and I got into work. I'm like, guys, go, go home. home. <laughs> you you can work from home now. Go home. You do not need to be here. And I was really glad I did that because by the time I left, it was significantly worse. And I was only there for an hour. Well, they were new employees, so they were trying to... Yeah. I'm making a pressure. Yep. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. We had the notifications on on the phone, so we had to turn those off. But yeah, so by the time I got home, I finished work. Um, Eric, my cousin, stay was staying with us at the time. So he was helping us move snow. And then my husband actually had to come home. And he's not the type. He does not come home for anything. So he had he came home about 2 o'clock. And he, him and Eric spent the remaining... I don't know, next six hours scooping people out. Um, we live <clears throat> kind of on the entrance to the the neighborhood. So people were getting stuck like crazy and because everybody's in cars and they've kind of forgotten what it's like in Nebraska. <laughs> <laughs> but we had people stuck outside of our driveway, so he had to help them move. We had people stuck in the neighborhood, like getting into the neighborhood. So we had to move those people. It was just... Lost. And everything closed. I mean, yeah. McDonald's was closed. Yeah. McDonald's never closes. Yeah. That people forget what it's like to live in Nebraska. I mean, this used to be normal. This is normal. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> but it was fun. It was good. Yeah. And now it's snowing again. So it's it supposed is. to snow, snow all day today, tonight, tomorrow, and start moving snow again on Monday at the airport. Yeah. So I'm exhausted. But we bought a snow blower. Yeah. So I'm excited. But anyway, thank you guys for joining us again. <laughs> thank you for waiting on us. and. We do really appreciate you guys coming back and being here and, and being with us. Yeah, we so missed thanks. you guys. I mean, even though we're talking to a a camera, a camera, um, you guys comment and we feel like we're actually interacting with you. So we we actually have missed you. So. Yeah, it's like where's our peeps at? I know it. <laughs> so thank you. Yeah. So you know, the next week it's been a busy three weeks. Yeah, it really has. Yeah. The week or the weekend following that, Eric, as I mentioned, was living with us, and he moved out. He moved back home to Colorado, so he he came to stay with us just for about a year, a little over a year, just a different change of scenery, change of pace. So he had a couple friends coming in to help him move, and we had a house full of people, but it was it was fun, very enjoyable. They're a great group of guys, but and then his dad came also, and yep. his dad stayed with me. Yeah, so just. Last weekend just didn't really work out for us, but that's okay. So we're here we're, this weekend. We're here now. So. Yeah. And it, in that two-week time period, it's actually good we waited a week because I had absolutely nothing to show. Yeah. I was able to work, I was able to stitch for four days in two weeks. I counted. Yeah, I missed one entire week of being able to stitch. So. Yeah. But let's do this. Let's do it. All right. Let's start with questions. Okay. So for last week... Teresa asked, let me find it, have you stitched any of the little 
Little House Needleworks Patriotic Colonial Series. So I think she's referring to the Early American series. Okay, yeah. Um, I have not, but I have been looking at them. And They're cute. They are cute. One day I may do it. Um, I've got so much to do right now that if I ever get caught up, they're definitely on my list to do. They're our jam, so. Yeah. I enjoyed um, Pam from Just Keep Stitching. She did it and finished it last year, yeah. I think. Yeah, yep. It was, it was really pretty. Okay. Computers. Just a second. Debbie, she asked, <laughs> I got a kick out of this one, can I borrow your DeWalt glue gun? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, I got a good kick out of the number of people who were interested yeah. in the glue gun that, and that then was their a toolboxes. Big hit. And, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Debbie, probably not, but I know where you can get one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the next question was from Rhonda. She wanted to know if they could see if she could see your toolboxes. Um I do not have things organized. I've been asked for tours and stuff of my sewing room. And I'm not the type of person who put labels and stuff and things and have everything in its place, but it works for me. Um, I will take a picture of my toolboxes and we'll put them at the end of the video and maybe a couple other things. Or we but, could try and insert them here. Or we could try. Yeah. We'll if see. we figure it out, it'll be here. If yes. not, it'll be at the end. It'll be at the end. Um, We're just not that organized. Yeah. We we live in our spaces, and they never get clean enough to show people, so. Yeah, yeah I work here. It's not show quality. But. Yeah. Well, and that kind of goes into, I, did you already say this, that people have asked for a tour? Yeah. Okay. So, I wasn't listening, yeah. apparently. But. Speaking of sewing rooms, when <laughs> oh, yeah. when um, Eric was moving out with him and his friends, we actually didn't really help, but we were no. there. So, we went down to Jamie's sewing room, and cleaned her sewing room. Mm -hmm. That was a four-hour event. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But now she can actually sew in it. And you can find have my you, table again. Have you sewn in it since we No, cleaned? but I brought all my stuff out, ready to sew. Okay. We wanted to be there so we could keep the dogs in one spot and give them a chance to move in and out and not have to worry about the puppies. So yeah. <clears throat> that's what we claim. <laughs> okay, so the next question is from Sandy. She said that she loved what you did with the February block of the month, and she wanted to know what color you used specifically for the house. And then also, Christina had said the same thing, that she loved those color changes, and she just was curious on the what information you had for them. Okay, so on the February sampler, um, and this is my book that I use from Fat Quarter Shop, where I, I take an actual picture of my design but I used all the called for colors the only thing I did I still left the pink in there but I took out most of it and I changed it to 815 DMC and that was a dark red and then 3823 which is a pale yellow but I still do have the pink posy in there just not as much yeah the, the heart was and you've got something here to show that has those same the colors, same colors yeah yeah yes. and then I'll show that a little bit so going back to this, what we do is we add this picture, and I just take a screenshot from any place that has one of these pictures on Google or. And this one happens to be my own picture that I took because. Oh, was it? Yeah, because oh, those yeah. colors are nowhere else. Everything's That's true. Pink. So it's kind of shaped funny because <laughs> I took it from. Yeah. Yeah. So you just put if it. If you in follow order. me on Instagram, you know I cannot take pictures <laughs> worth a darn. So. <laughs> It is what it is, but yep. you get the gist of it. Yeah. So all you do is you put that picture into a Word document and print it out and cut it out. Pretty simple. Okay. Is that yeah. it for that question? I don't put it in the Word document. Maybe that's my problem. She calls me and says, hey, hey I need a picture. <laughs> like, well, okay, mom. She's got a colored printer. That's true. I finally do. <laughs> Mary asked, where in Nebraska do you live? She says her daughter lives in Bellevue. We live in Lincoln, mm -hmm. which is just 40 miles west of Omaha, or Bellevue. About 50 miles west of the eastern border. Mm -hmm. How's that for a direction? Yep. So we live in the southeast corner of Nebraska. And then I work in Seward, which is another 30 miles, 25, 30 miles west of Lincoln. Yep. But it's all pretty close. Yeah. And it is Nebraska, so, you know, it's not like New York City where 30 miles is like <clears throat> three hours. 30 miles is 30, 30 minutes. 30 minutes, and yeah. yeah. 
we measure everything in miles because, again, we're not that big. We don't have a lot of traffic. So <clears throat> if you say you're going across town, you know, it's like, okay, yeah. we'll see you in about 10, 15 minutes. No biggie. And 30 miles to my husband is 45 minutes. 30 miles to me is 25 minutes. Yeah. So it depends on who's driving. <laughs> that, that too. I do have a tendency to have a lead foot. Yes. But well within and very respectable. <laughs> I, I stay right at the speed limit or slightly above. Yeah. So our last <laughs> question. Cheryl asked, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> she asked, where did you get your pattern for, the, I love this part too, the quilt block holder thingies. She said, yes, that is a professional <laughs> description. <laughs> so those are those design boards that I made mom for Christmas. And I used the Lori Holt pattern. It's not a pattern. I shouldn't say that. Lori Holt video um, and we can link that below too but I just took core foam core board cut it at 14 inches square and then I took some kind of batting whatever kind of batting you want the, I had scrap so I had um, warm and natural I think and then it's glued, like an 80 20 yeah well the one I I had two I one was 80 20 and one was 100 percent cotton okay so Really doesn't matter as long as stuff sticks to it, which yeah. stuff sticks to batting <laughs> all the time. Yeah, yeah. Even when you don't want it to. Yep. Well, we'll go ahead and link that video. So no actual pattern, just I used what she had said in hers. I wanted to get the most out of the foam core board, and I could have even gone up to 15 inches square, but in my head I didn't want to, so I didn't think about it. <laughs> I wanted. I tell you what, these coriander quilt blocks that I'm doing, I could have used bigger ones, but. Yeah. Hey, I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. I appreciate them, and I love them, and I just use two now for those. Yep. Is that all the questions? Those are then? all the questions. Okay. So we were taking notes, and it's like, what order do you want to do this in? What order do you Well, I don't know. Let's just wing it. So yeah, we're no notes. It. We're going to wing it. Hopefully we're not confused. But. Hopefully we're not confused. We're always We're confused. always confused. Hopefully we're not confusing. Okay. That's a Another problem. You want to go ahead and show that? I am going to show this, which is my previous finish. This is my February Country Cottage Needleworks Cottage of the Month. It's on 28 count coffee tea dyed Monaco. And I also changed the colors on these. <laughs> are you trying to <laughs> shut me out? <laughs> um, so these are the same colors. These are the same colors that I did on my February, February sampler, which was 815 red and 38. I already don't remember. It doesn't matter. You said it already. 3823 pale yellow. And this is what it was called for. If you can see that. And that's a copy, so it that, even yeah. doesn't so show everything. I like more of the bold bold colors. I don't really like a lot of pink. I like some pink, but not a lot of pink. Yeah. I don't dislike pink. <laughs> I don't want to upset you have any, a problem I don't want to pink people out there, but <laughs> um just don't cover up this stuff if you still need to talk about it. Yeah. Because I can see that happening. We'll cover it up and forget what we're doing. And It doesn't happen, does it? <laughs> here, give it to me and I'll, we'll put it over here. Okay, so a previous finish, and this is very appropriate for today and this week. Do we need something behind it? I don't know, do we? Bring on spring. I'm freezing my snowballs. No, that doesn't help. Okay. I am tired of... It's cute. Look at this. Tired of winter. <laughs> this is so pretty this is 20 count this is 16 count ada 16 pe count petty point that's 16 count that's what i have written down okay so 16 count petty point and this was a download we purchased from v and company on her etsy shop and we can link that down below too i feel like i'm gonna have a lot to link today and I finished this early in the, the spring this past year. Yep. So that's not something she worked on recently, but we wanted to show it. Yeah, because it's so appropriate. Yeah. Speaking of appropriate, another previous finish that I don't have FFO'd is Frosty. And it's actually called Jolly Happy Soul by Brenda Gervais. And I believe I used all the cold for colors. Um, 28 count coffee tea dyed Monaco. This is super cute. Yeah. 
So we completely forgot to mention all of our fabrics last video. And we got so, called on it. <laughs> yeah, we appreciate the reminder to do that. Yeah. So thank you. So sorry. Um, those are all my actual previous finishes. Yeah, keep going. Keep going? Sure. Okay. I've, I've got the whip parade, so I've got a lot to all talk right, about so too. Let me just haul this over here because Jamie's going to be doing a lot of stuff. So my winter house trio by Waxy Moon Designs. You've seen I've been working on it. I have my little windy house <laughs> done. Now I finished my center house, which is winter. And I just have the other house left to do, which is snowy. And that big tree is the beginning of the snowy house. But I think it's turned out really I cute. love that windy I like, tree. Yeah, I love those colors. Yeah. Also 28, 28 count. count. Coffee tea dyed Monica. This, I'll do this one first. Oh, okay. Hey, there's, oh, there's, there's my brown spring. And that's um, probably backwards for you. No, no, it'll be fine for them. Be in company, and we will link it below. So I was working on my winter by um, Cross-Eyed Cricket. And I finished it. I think the last time you saw it, I had just started on my... I think I finished my eye or just started on my eye or started on my end. I don't think you had the tree done, did you? I don't really remember enough anyway. Where's the tree? Oh, <laughs> no, I didn't. But it's super cute. I like that. And that's 32 count Belfast Pro Gray. I love that one. Love it. This is a super cute find. I know. She tried to hide this from me, but I found it. Yeah, I know. So I downloaded this. Let me let me go organized here. If that's a thing. So I was doing my winter house trio and I for some reason decided to look on Waxing Moon Designs website just to see if there were any corrections or anything else going on. And I found this cute little checkerboard bunny. It's a free pattern. And this is what the pattern looks like. Somebody had done it in these colors. It's like, oh, that's cute. I could whip that out in no time. So I did. <laughs> so I did. I didn't do the border around it because I didn't think it needed it. But it is just adorable. And it, you slightly tweaked your colors, so I, you... I made them more pastel instead of the bold crayon-looking primary colors that they had. A little more muted. Yeah. So they're still a little bit dark, but more muted. And this is on 36 Count Mink by R&R Pre Reproductions. Isn't that adorable? Mm -hmm. And I was so ready to do something springy. And that just made me happy. <laughs> you want me to keep going? You tell me. I, yeah, I mean, go ahead. Okay. It's all cute. It all needs to be seen. All right, so I have a, a finish this time. Uh, FFO. Warm Winter Wishes. There's a theme. <laughs> Waxing Moon Designs. Waxing Moon Designs and Winter. And I FFO'd this. And I think this is just adorable. I love that little penguin. Right. Can we just talk about that? He's I know. Burying his butt. <laughs> and then instead of stitching all those snowflakes, I just got some of these little snowflake buttons and put on there. Do you want to find my information? I think it's a 28 count Monaco that I dyed Yes, blue. that's not Monaco. That's just an even weave we got okay. from Hobby Lobby, and then we dyed it. Dyed it blue. Yeah. Is it tabbed? It is tabbed. I'm looking for the tabs. It's not tabbed. This is probably another Mama's Right moment. Okay. Well, anyway. Oh, look. There it is. Oh, it's tabbed. Brit dyed with blue. Brit dyed with blue. Yep. That isn't that just... Oh, I love that. that I have no so idea. so cute. Right, that's adorable. I have no idea what color blue. We've got a couple. Um, we kind of just wing it. So we don't really have any We idea. did all of our dyeing before we started a floss tube, so we didn't <laughs> yeah. know that we needed to keep track of it that right. closely. Exactly. Okay, so... Ah, I love this I one, know, I guys. love the way this turned out. So, Holiday Hoopla Easter. I bought this pattern, or I, I bought the finish for it, and I knew immediately what I wanted to do with it. So I found that pattern, I stitched it up, and I put it on here. And it is just adorable. It fit so perfectly. And you got that hop sign from Joanne's, right? I'm pretty sure it was that, from Joanne's. Very possibly. And yes. that was last year. So 
So yeah. Isn't that just, it's just oh, it's just perfect. It's just perfect. I love it. So if it ever stops snowing mm. around here, I'm going to put my Easter stuff up. And then do you know what fabric that is? Because that was. That is the same as the, as this one. Oh, okay. So that's another 28 count even weave. So these are the same. Yeah. So that was probably just the piece that was left over off this one. Yeah. That's it for me. Um. I do want to mention, do you want me to mention this now? Or? Sure, yeah. Okay. So, way back in a floss tube, I had started doing another waxing moon. <laughs> Watch it snow. Watch I'm going to show this real quick. Okay. Okay. All right, so I had a mistake in my tree. We figured out the mistake. I got it corrected. But I just am not feeling this. I cannot keep going. So I told Jamie today, it's like... Why don't I just start at the top? Or, Where all the fun stuff yeah, is. Because I've got the house, and then I've got all these trees, and then I've got snowflakes, and I don't like doing snowflakes, and I keep shaking the table. So She's passionate. Yes. <laughs> so Jamie had this bright idea to go up to this snowflake, do the snowflake, and then start working up the center. That way I can go anywhere I want to. If I get bored, I mean, I've got a path. Mm -hmm. So that that is brilliant. So yep. I, I felt like I had to do all those trees before I went anywhere else. No, no, that's, and that's a lot of what I do too. If, if I get bored with something, I'm like, okay, I want to go work on that. And then anywhere that, so I work my way up, but as long as I can anchor back to the original stitching, so I'm not getting mm -hmm. off. So. so hopefully I'll be able to work on this a little bit in the next couple of weeks when I'm trying to get back at it. Yes. Awesome. Okay. I think, go ahead. There was there was one more thing there, too. Well, I'll talk okay. about this later. Um, so the top of my pile is haul, and it's very limited haul. But I didn't want to get buried because there's a lot of stuff over here. I saw this, and it was a really relatively cheap pattern, and it was actually more to ship it than it was to buy the pattern. I had to have it. So this is Mystic Stitch called Home of the Brave. How gorgeous is that? Right? Ugh. Have to. Have to. This is a must. That would be a good Christmas gift for Derek. Yes. It would be, but I want one of my own. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you could do one for Derek. I could do one for Derek, yeah. And then I could do this one. But this is my haul. That's it. Okay. Derek is my son, by the way, if yes. you don't remember that from earlier Previous. videos. But yeah. Yeah. He, He's my brother. Yep. I want to talk about these because this is something I am all into. A little pull from Kitten Stitcher, which she talks about. These little things, I've never had them. I don't know if anybody else has. Oh my gosh, she is missing out. These things I are know. from my childhood. I know. So they're from Atkinson's. And they are peanut butter bars. Oh my god, I'm so addicted to these things. So addicted. I went on Amazon and I bought a pound worth of them. I'm like, Mom, have you ever had this, these? This is what she brings me. She's we've, got a pound. We've uh, been eating them. At least you brought me some, so I thank you. Yeah. <laughs> like, Mom, have you ever had these? She's like, yeah, those are my childhood. I'm like, oh, I just found them. They're delicious. Okay, so that happened this week. I'm sure I had them around the house when she was growing up, too, but she was one of those kids. Mm -hmm. and, I didn't want to try it. Yeah. <laughs> I worked on this a little bit. This is my Christmas calendar by the Tiny Modernist. I was able to finish my snowman, and then I worked on the mittens, and I, I've changed colors around a little bit. I've got a pile of DMC, and I'm just pulling from it, and what makes sense. I was going to say, because I didn't think those looked like my mittens. No. They were red mittens on the yeah. pattern. I made them blue. Yeah. And then I finished the horsey. Oh. So, got those done. Those are three more finishes there. And then I was also working on, I told you guys last time that I created some goals for myself <laughs> on Brave Brave Hearts. I don't have the pattern with me, but this is Little House Needleworks Brave Hearts. And I finished it. That is gorgeous. I love this. Um, it's a little tweaked up here, so we'll just tweak it back into place when we finish it but this is on 28 count monaco that we writ dyed 
Again, I don't really know what color it is. Probably a, a brown of some kind. This is on antique white Monaco though, so that's why it's a little yellowy. Mm -hmm. And then we also changed all the colors too. Made them darker. I like that. That is so pretty. A little more Americana. Yeah. So then one of the next things I worked on, these are in no particular order, but I just go with the flow. I'm working on Christmas rules. Oh, I forgot to mention, Brave Hearts is part of my whip go. Okay. So I have crossed that off on my whip go because it is finished. Yay. Christmas rules by Lizzie Kate. Is this whip go also? This is also whip go. Didn't get very far into it, but I just started. I had previously started on a Ada, and I just was not liking the colors. So I went, I changed all the colors, changed my fabric because I didn't want to rip it all out. This is, again, that 28 count even weave from Hobby Lobby. We just copy tea dyed it. And then one thing I wanted to point out with this, so I was struggling with the colors, and I felt like I had all the colors, but I was missing a, a dark red. So what I did in... Um, Excel is I wrote down all the colors that I needed and then actually like what color was it was it a black was it a brown was it a dark green etc so I thought that was your stomach <laughs> somebody's <laughs> down scooping the sidewalk I thought her stomach was growling no but I am hungry <laughs> so what I did in Excel was I actually changed the colors of the cells so I had an idea of what that color transition looks like and you can see here I am missing a color in my dark red so now I need to find one but it was a way that I could easily see that and relate what the pattern called for and what I was changing it to. So that's something that I did. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so the next thing I worked on, um, actually, let's do this one first. January whip go. I was in the middle of that <laughs> at our last um, last video. So this is my Jan one of my Januaries. This is Shein and Christine, excuse the mess. My goal was to stitch on it for 10 days and I did meet that goal. And here's where I'm at. So pretty. And I had only, I had a little bit of this down here and a tiny bit of the floss, but everything else I was able to get done because of Whipco. Did you end up changing that pink? I did. And I actually took it out, so I don't have my colors here with me, but I, the pink colors were not working for me, and I just changed them a little bit. I used my DMC card that mom oh, gave me yeah. for Christmas, yeah. and I actually had all of these in my stash, so I didn't even have to go to the store for it. Good. That is really pretty. This is the same fabric that Brave Hearts is on. It's a 28 count Monaco that we red dyed. So that was one of my Januaries. And then my second January, because I have a free space, so January they called three numbers. <clears throat> one of them was the free space, so I didn't have to stitch that one. We never specifically said, but you're kind of in the middle of your Whipco parade, right? You're this is all whip, these, these Whipco are whips. whips. Okay. Yeah, so this is everything I've worked on in the last, well, technically a week, because I only stitched for four days previously. Okay. So these are still whips. Okay. This is everything I worked on. So this is my shadows. Shadows Horse, Shadows, whatever it's called. And here is where I'm at. If you can see that. There it is. It's, I love it. I'm using mm. Pattern Keeper for this. Yeah. So it's helping out a lot more to see where I'm going and, and find those extra stitches and, and the directions I want to go. So I have six days in on that, and I need six more days to finish out my goal. Are you actually parking your threads done? Not is particularly, no. Um, so these I just, I guess you could say I buried the threads because I don't have enough stitches up here to actually end up those, or end those stitches. End the threads to weave them in the back and clip them off. So I'm waiting until I build up the threads around there to clip them off. And that is Shadows by Cross Stitch for Everyone. And we'd linked that on a previous video. Yeah, that's an Etsy thing. Done on 25 count black Lugana, two threads over one with a tenth stitch. The next one I don't have a pattern for, a cover for. I only have the pattern, but it's one that I'm completely changing all the colors for. And again, this is um, 
February's number for WIPCO. This is one of my February goals. And the goal is to finish it. It will be a butterfly. But I'm changing the colors to... It's a caterpillar right now. <laughs> yeah, it's a caterpillar. <laughs> Still to become a... Yeah. Um, this is on 28 Count de Bloom, which is a really pretty color. I like it a lot. Um, this is just a scrap that we bought from Reflections, and it worked out perfect. I'm going to try and show you. It's it's a color pattern, but I'm going to try and show you without showing you the pattern. So that's what it looks like. That butterfly on some flowers. Yep. That's going to be pretty. It is. Again, the goal there is to finish that one. I love that one. I can't wait to see that one done. Yeah. Do it for spring. Okay. Still in whips. <laughs> this is this is the one I've been working on most recently. This is Little House Needleworks. Old Red Barn. Love it. It's one mm -hmm. of my favorites. Absolutely love it. I am not doing this bottom border, just so you know. 28 Count Monaco. And that's where I'm at. It's so cute. I'm doing this one also where I'm kind of setting out goals and trying to figure out what works for me and and really set those goals to finish it. But, ah, yeah. Okay, that ends my whip I would whip be nuts portion. if I did that many whips. Yeah? I just, I can't. I get so bored. I get bored too, and that's what keeps me focused to keep going on what I'm working on. Yeah, well, that's why you have more finishes than I do. Yeah. And so I'm, I'm still more of a monogamous stitcher. I'm yeah. trying to venture out, but I just... You can start them when we do, like, a mania or something, but... Yeah. Once it comes time to doing the whip, she's monogamous. Yeah. yeah. Um, and some of those, too, I'll take the smaller ones into work, and on lunches I can stitch them there, and then the bigger ones I stitch at home. Yeah. So it's not like I'm... Um, I, I'm doing a couple whips a day sometimes. So. Okay. That's kind of what I've been doing with my um, Winter House Trio, is I do that at work. Mm -hmm. So my husband's been on a business trip, and... Um, I've been doing it at work. And then when he comes back and he wants to go actually leave and eat lunch, go imagine <laughs> that. I get really cranky because it's like, that's my stitching time. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So that was all of the whips that I have been working on this last week. So the rest of them are still whip go, but it's just to be, not to be worked on, really. Waiting and, for the numbers to be called? Yeah. Waiting for the numbers to be called. There you go. So I will just go through patterns and... And everything and let you know what my goals are so this is uninvited guest by charting creations it's one that you guys have not seen in quite some time yeah I haven't stitched on it in quite some time <laughs> okay so this is on 20 count white Lugana full cross one one thread one over one yep that's where I'm at that's about 1800 stitches is it one over one or one over two one over one one over one um, I do not count my stitches, but I've been using Pattern Keeper for some of these bigger projects, and it does have a stitch Counts count. For you. Yeah, so that's the only reason why. So, what do you want? Did you say how many stitches? About eighteen hundred. Okay. So this is this is how big it is, <laughs> and it's eighteen hundred out of. I know this number. This is sad that I know this number. Um, Two hundred and twenty-six thousand. And 600 stitches. That's because we figured it out. If we stayed on track, what was it, 200 a week? 400. 400 a week. Yeah. It, it would take us seven years to finish it. And I think it was a little more than that, but yeah. Yeah. And we haven't worked on it in three months, four no. months. So, yeah. This won't be done anytime soon. <laughs> My goal with that one is to get it 5% complete. I'm just under 1%. And that, again, it counts out on Pattern, Pattern Keeper. If it didn't do that, I would not. I would have a different goal <laughs> than that. So this next one is a Riolis kit. This one is Breeze Through Maine. I did start this a couple months ago, and I've only worked on it that one time. So the, the top. Oh, sorry. Riolis, Riolis. We had this discussion last time, yeah. too. And this is a kit. And I, I do have a couple threads hanging, but this is where I'm at right now. Pardon, there we go. There we go. You can see those darker colors. This is an anchor floss kit, and it's on 14 count black Ada. And let me find it. I should have put them in order, but I didn't. I have, I have my spreadsheet. Yes, spreadsheet. 
Um, Breeze through May. I'm working on that for 12 days. That's my goal for that one. The next one is Plum Street Samplers American Sampler. Love that one. Started this for Mania 2020. I only got it for the one day. I only worked on it the one day. Got a few bricks done. This is again 28 count coffee tea dyed Monaco. And my goal for that one is working on it for 10 days. Okay, Country Cottage Needleworks, Liberty mm. Lane. So pretty. I am changing the color slightly, kind of making it a little more Americana. Um, a little darker. Yeah. And a lot of it is based off of Priscilla's color changes, mm -hmm. too. So I just went on her blog to figure out what those color changes are. I don't remember that I'm doing everything exactly the way she is, but this is where I'm at here. Started this for 2019 Mania. And then I've worked on it, I think, one day. Coffee tea dyed Monaco. 28 count. 28 count. My goal with that one is to work on it for 10 days. This is a pattern by Bobby G Designs called America. Started this for Mania 2019. And I actually just saw Maine Moose. Maine Moose something. Maine Moose Mom Stitchers. Maine Moose Stitchers. Can't yeah, she's been working on it pretty steady. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. And I, I had never seen anybody working on I this. Either. I thought it was one of those patterns that you found in the drawer and like nobody knew anything about it, but she found it. And she didn't do the border, and I'm, I would like that. I'm, I'm thinking about maybe not doing that. To be determined. This is on a 28 count Monaco that Love we writ dyed. And that's the start of. And that started out with heart. a cream piece, right? Yeah, I was doing it on 14 cal oatmeal Ada. Uh, but I mean, this oh. itself was cream before we dyed it, because that's why it's got the yellow in it. Yes, yeah, it's, it's the antique white one. Okay. So it's kind of yellowy in there. This is pretty. I reckon I recommend doing this one on an even weave or a linen, because a looking half through stitches. The, yeah, a lot of half stitches and quarter stitches. That one has a goal of 10 days also. This one is a Little House Needleworks. I love this one. This one came out last year. I did it for 2020 Mania. This is Old West Dry Goods. My goal for this one is to finish it. This is also 28 count. Ooh. Dyed Monaco. That's where I'm at on this. That is cute. I love it. I'm having so much fun stitching it. If you watch um, Married with Stitches, Derek was working on that for a while. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen it in some time, but he was working on it. It's yep. Cute. Um, oh, I said my goal for that one is to finish it. This next one is Farmhouse Christmas, and I'm doing it on the called 430 Count Portobello Linen. This is where I'm at right now. This is block number nine. I'll show it here in a second. And I, I have the, I downloaded the border off of her website. It's a free border, so I'm doing it all as one piece. Here's block number nine. And my goal with this one is to do three blocks. Let me find it on my chart. Three blocks and then the associated border. So here, this is the block one or block nine and then the border that goes with it. So there's that one. I had that one started too and I want to get back to it. But it's one of those that just keeps getting pushed off for some yeah. reason. Yeah. This is another mom was right moments. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> of course. This is Jack Frost Tree Farm. This is the middle block. My goal with this one is to do three total blocks. But I had it started. And I had it started here. And I almost got the one, one block done. And then she's looking at it. She's like, is that enough room? And I said in, our, in that video, I'm like, oh, yeah, it'll be fine. I measured. It's great. And then I realized I grabbed the wrong size fabric. I got, grabbed the smaller one. So I had to grab a bigger piece of fabric. And start over because it is not going to fit. Start over. Um, this is also coffee tea dyed Monaco 28 count. And did I say my goal on that one? Three blocks? I think yes, I did. you did. Okay. This one. Hilda Boo and Sunflowers 2 with thy needle and thread. This is done on the called for I'm doing mine on 36 count. It's called for 40 count. 18th Century Blackbird by R&R. &R. 
my goal is to finish. And I'm doing one strand over two. My gosh, who doesn't love a Brenda Gervais I witch? Know, I mean, right? ugh, ugh. love her little witches. I can't wait till I put the boo in and it's all purpley. Yeah. Okay, that's a finish. This next one, Country Cottage Needleworks, Be Thankful. This one is also called for, I'm, my goal is to have it as a finish. I'm doing it on 14 Count Ada, Coffee Tea Dye. This was 2019 Mania. And this is where I'm at here. Change the colors up a little bit. Not too much. I think I really just changed the, the green more than anything. Got a lot of seasons represented here. Yeah. I tried to pick one from, unintentionally, I ended up picking one from every season, I think. I don't think I've seen any spring yet, have I? I think I only have two spring pieces in general. Okay. That I have even started. Gotta get you stacked up on some. Yeah. I need to do spring. That one's a finish. Okay. You hear that, Julie? If you're watching, we're going to come see you. <laughs> yes. We need patterns. <laughs> we need patterns. I'm sure I'll buy some fabric because I can't stop myself. Okay. This is Cinnamon Stars by Plum Street Samplers. I'm on this finish this one. This is a 2019 Mania start. I absolutely love this. Goal is to finish. This is also 28 count mm. coffee tea dyed Monaco. I'm sure you're seeing a trend. That's pretty much where we started, but we're starting to get more away from the 28 count coffee tea dyed Monaco. And Going with whatever. Venturing with some of the other counts. And yeah. Fabrics and colors. Or whims. whims. <laughs> um, so the next one is slightly different. It's not just one pattern. My idea with this one was to do four of my um, cottages of the month. I currently am working on December. There's that one. This particular one I'm doing all called four colors. No, I'm doing the DMC version of the called four colors. And this is where I'm at on that one. These are all done on 28 count coffee tea dyed Monaco. And then I have two more kitted. I don't know what my fourth one is. I'm sure I'll end up changing my mind because by the time I get to these, it won't be that season anymore. So I'll find a new one to do. But I have February kitted. And that, I think we showed a picture. But that's yeah. like my February where hers, hers will be... She changed her colors to more of a darker pink than what's shown on the... Yeah. So hers will be somewhere in between mine and the actual and the pattern. picture. Yep. So, so I'm excited to see that one come together and see what it looks like. And I picked a, a pinky red instead of that maroon cranberry one that she's got. And then the other one I have kitted is March. I thought this one was really pretty. Mm -hmm. That's where I started. Yeah. And I plan on doing called for on that like one. Like two years ago. Like I said, I don't have the fourth one figured out yet, but I'll figure that out later. That's cute. The next one is Glitter Village. My plan is to only do one block here, and I am working on the ninth house, Glitter House. You're starting to make me regret that I didn't do Whip Co. <laughs> Whip Co. Yeah. That's, that's what I said. You called it a Co. Oh. <laughs> I just don't want to confuse anybody. Go, go. We, you know, we can we can deal with that. We can just start. Yeah, I'm okay. No, it's okay. I'll talk you <laughs> through okay. it. It's fine. <laughs> I'm doing it on the called 432 count raw silver. And then nothing's changed on this one since I showed it last. So there it is. Oh, sparkly. Okay. I like that. It is. It actually is relatively easy to stitch on. You just need a good light. That is a perfect fat pattern. Perfect fabric for, for that the, pattern. <laughs> yep. Yep. That's cute. I'm excited to work on this one. Um, this one is called Nebraska Travel. So I'm not sure why it's called Travel, but I got it off of Etsy, and I've, I've shown that a couple times, or at least one time. And I'm doing this one on 32 Count Mercedes Lugana. That's all I got. Can you see it? Can you see it? What about now? Um, I'm doing it on this blue, though, so I don't have to stitch the sky. How long is it going to be before you're bored with doing yellow? <laughs> to be determined. Yeah. Um, my goal with that one is 10 days. The next one, I had to have a Brenda Gervais yeah. in here. Here's a With Thy Needle and Thread, October 31st. 
Mom has also completed this one. This one was a 2020 Mania start for me. My goal for this one is to work on it for 10 days. And here's where I'm at. 28 count copy tea dyed Monaco. Okay, the next one, Happy Scarecrow by Teresa Kogut. My goal is to work on it for 10 days. He's cute, isn't I like he? This one. Yeah. Um, also a Mania 2020 start. You guys are gonna love my start on this one. <laughs> Typical JD. There it is. Can you see that one too? <laughs> Again, coffee tea dyed Monaco. <laughs> I will make sure this fabric is big enough. I will double check that one. <laughs> I promise. Okay, I'm running through my list. I have one left, but I want to make sure I have talked about everything else. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so this is the last one. Halloween rules. I'm doing this one. All is one. Just, I finished this one previously. Howl at the Moon's my next one to work on. And this hasn't changed since the last time I showed it. And I'm looking for my sticker that says what fabric it is. It's 32 count vintage Stormy Night Lugana. There it is. Be spooktacular. My goal with this one is to do four blocks, so four of these, and the associated border with it. So I'll just bring the border up with each block. Okay. So the, I get done <laughs> with that. So the other non-WIPCO goal I have is to work on every whip I have that I've only stitched on one day. If it's only ever had one day of stitching on it, I want to touch each one of those again. So that's the only other goal I have. And I've only done two of those out of all of these. And there's there's more. So where does your land that I love fit into this? It wasn't started when I created this block. But I mean, are you still going to be working on it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm not exclusively working on WIPGO projects, but it's a, it's a way to keep me contained when I get all excited and I'm like, ah! I've only put in maybe 20 stitches in the last three weeks on my land that I love, but I'm going to get back to it now, I think. Yeah. You were working on it this morning when I came in. Yeah. All right. I think I'm done talking for a little bit. I'm going to give you your pile back. It is a large pile. It's a beautiful, look at this pile. Isn't it great? As long as it doesn't tipple. Tipple. Uh, <laughs> That's a great word. For haul, um, I got my new Floss Frenzy January Club. Carolina Blues from Fat Quarter Shop. Weeks Day Works. Thank you. And I got my new March, and I should have taken it out of there. I'm sure you've seen it all over the internet because it seems like everyone's doing these. So March, one of those cute little leprechauns. And I'll be starting this this week, so probably in two weeks it'll be done. Of course it will be. <laughs> I saw on Little House Needleworks Instagram that she posted that she's going to have some new releases coming out. Yeah. And I thought she said something about another series or another... I think something yeah, or another. Said something like that. This is Country Cottage. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It reminded me of Little House. Yeah. Mother, daughter. Yeah. They're great. You gotta love them. So I think that's all the stitching that we have. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go into quilting. I hope you guys do stick around. Um, we've actually done quite a bit of stitch or quilting. I've done quite a bit of quilting in the last... Two weeks, three weeks, other than skipping snow. We'll do the top one last, I think. Yeah. Is there anything else you want to say before we jump into? No, I'm good. Quilting? Okay. She's got a lot. Oh, it got wrinkled. <laughs> That'll happen. Okay, so I'm doing the Forevermore um, block of the month. This is by Pam Buddha. Yes. Yeah, Heart so quilts. That's the one that she got in the mail last time. So she's able to get it done. Okay, oh, so are tiny. I have all of these labeled because there's several different blocks and they go different places. And she tells you where to how to label them and label them now so that you know where to put them. So I'm not going to take my my little stickies off. So you'll just have to look around them. But all of these were um, month one, and these are three 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 and a half inch blocks. Mm -hmm. I'll finish at three inches. Yeah. And then these, there's two of these. 
Just so you guys know, these are intended to be opposite. That's not done incorrectly. Yeah. And this one is cute. This one I think is a six and a half inch block. Turned out really cute. I love it. And then this one was my partial seams. And it turned out really well. I just I love these fabrics. I love yeah. how they play together. So good. So good. So good. So good. So yeah. Okay. Um then Jamie and I was at last weekend or Yeah. Two well, weekends after our last floss tube. I don't remember. Worked on our cream and sugar. All my days are running together. This is our creamy sugar block that we're doing. It was a block of the month. We purchased them all, but never actually started working on them until this year. There it is. We did four of these blocks. So there's two each. We're doing two quilts. One for her, one two for Two quilts, me. identical. Because that's how we roll. Do everything together. Um, my very coriander Christmas. You guys have been seeing this. Every floss tube. And this is... Oh my god, month six already? Month six, Laugh with Friends block. Ooh, that's pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? I love this block. That is awesome. You, your points look amazing on that one. Thank you. I didn't even have to rip out any seams on that one. And mm -hmm. I have been known... I obsess on getting my points right, so I've been known to rip seams several times to resell and, and try and maneuver them in. I used to be like that, and then I had too many things going on. I'm like, ah, just get it done. It's fine. I probably wouldn't care so much if I wasn't showing it to everybody, but <laughs> since I'm showing it, then in, in my mind, it's going to be perfect. Right. Um, my Aditya Sitar um, California quilt, I told you I'd gotten it sewn together. I was going to put um, the borders on it. I haven't gotten that done. But yeah, so I it's won't. not done done yet, but... But I wanted to show you what, what I had so far. It's sewn together. I just don't have borders. And this is um, just scrappy with Joe Morton fabrics. There it is. Yeah. And there's the bottom half. I think it turned out really cute for you know for being scrappy and it's showing a little more, a little more brown than it really is. But well, yeah, there's a lot of red and, and blue in it. And... But hopefully this week I'll start getting some borders on it. We're still working on our labyrinth. We got that one little border on, and that was it. Mm -hmm. All of five minutes to get that one on. That's that's all I have. Yeah. That quilting, that's all I have. <laughs> that's all we've got. That's all we've got. <laughs> this is a long video. Thanks for sticking with yeah. us. If you guys made it all the way to the end, and um, we do appreciate you being here. We appreciate your comments, your suggestions. Love reading them. Yeah. Let us know, is this window too bright for you guys? Because I feel like it's too bright. Jamie says it's okay. If it's too bright, let us know. We'll rearrange things. It drives things. mom nuts. Yeah, it does. So. Where's your spiel? Um, first of all, you got any plans for... Oh, plans, right. Yeah. So I'm continuing on WIPCO. Um, working on my February stuff. I didn't say it, but the Old Red Barn is also February. So the Butterfly and Old Red Barn... Both of those goals are finishes. So my hope is I can at least get Old Red Barn finished... And then I calculated it out. I, I get about um, 200 stitches done a night or a day on the butterfly. That Again, that one's in Pattern Keeper, so that's how I know. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about Bless that. You. <laughs> um, you fight it. My eyes are watering. My nose is tickling. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You're like, please don't sneeze. Please don't sneeze. Um, so I get about 200 done stitches done a day. So that takes me about probably 26 to 30 days to finish that. So it won't get done this month. Um, that's where we're at. Which I'm going to work on land that I love. I'm going to do my uh, March sampler. My little house in New York. Country cottage in New York. Sorry about that. And whatever else strikes your fancy. Yeah, hopefully um, we can do a little bit of sewing. That's it. Yeah. Um, follow me on Instagram at Cornhusker State Stitcher and Jamie at Jamie Mickelson. We'll link that below. And if you do anything, you want to tag us in it, that's fine. We love seeing it. Um, leave us comments. Yep. I yep. think I already said that. Yep. Thank you, guys. Yeah. We appreciate it. Thank you. We'll see you in a couple of weeks, hopefully. Yes. <laughs> Wait, are we getting back on schedule, or are we um, doing two weeks now? I think we'll probably just do two weeks. Okay. 
So we'll see you to in be a couple. Determined. We'll see you in a couple weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Bye. Bye.